so now we have seen the handy methods how we can access these all the things right so now traversing like this so if you are having an html data html element so much of uh, complex html element if you are having means so it is very difficult for us to access these all things right so now in document itself we are having some handy methods okay we are having some handy methods let's try to tell you i will try to tell you those things also so where ul is equal to instead of having children of zero something like that you can have document dot body dot first child okay you can use the first child so first child means it will give you the first children so let's try to do the console dot log of ul so what will happen so we we need to so document first body's first children is ul only right so let's try to see whether we can able to get tax or not <clears throat> if i try to console this one so here we are able to get but here if you try to see the text content and all those things we are able to get it as an empty okay so here we are able to see some 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 weird data we are able to see it which we are not expecting the output so the uh, what the output we are expecting we are not able to get it so what is happening here is the first child for this document body is always a white space so here we will be having a white space right so this is also a children to the body element so when you access the first child so you are getting an empty empty white space here see the white space you are able to see it right so this is also considered as the child to the body element so first child gives you the white space here now you want you don't want this white space i want to get the first element chain okay first element i want to get the first element then you need to use the first element so first element chain we need to use it so now when you try to access this one so now you will be able to see some data has been changed and here now you are able to get a ul element so this time you are able to get a ul element <coughs> so this is the first element chain instead of using the children of zero you can use it so now if you want to access this li means so what you can do document console.log ul or otherwise so i want to access this li means what i can do is document dot or otherwise ul will try to use it ul dot first element child i can use again first element child first element child now if i try to access here now this time i will be able to get first element child that is nothing but an li element that is nothing but link one so now in the ul element i am trying to access inside this ul element first element child i am able to access it so this is the this is another uh, this is this like this we can also traverse it for example i want to get this last element okay so i want to get this last element so here i can use something like last element child so if i try to use this last element child then yeah then also you will be able to get this one link to so i am able to access this link to also so like this you can also use the last element child so for example for example let's say that i am having li item okay document dot first element child dot last element child so i am using last element child so i am using in a such a way that i am getting last last li okay last li element i am trying to get it so now if i try to so if i try to do the console dot log last li element dot text content so let's try to see what is the text content so here it will be having anchor link or something like that so you'll be able to get it so because we are accessing the li inside the li we are having last element child dot text content. so we are able to get a link to okay this is the link to we are able to get it okay fine so now what i want is here i want to get so okay i want i got the element i want to get the parent element for this one so this is the this one is there i want to get a parent element i want to traverse the parent element so for this one what i can do is console.log i can have last li element last li element dot parent element so if i try to use parent element then i will be able to access the parent element that is nothing but parent element is ul so here somewhere you'll be able to access the ul here okay so this is also one of the handy method which you can access traversing topwards so in css we can only traverse downwards whereas in the javascript we can also traverse upwards if you have an element and you want to know the parent element means so dot parent element means it will give you the ul element if you use again dot parent element means it will go to the body so like this it will try to you
for example here i am having a dual bench so i am having a dual bench here so now what i want to do is here so i have a ul element okay i have a ul element document dot first element child okay so i got a ul element now i want to get the so i have a ul element so that means this one i have ul element i want to find the next element so that means next element i want to get it so if i want to get the next element means instead of going inside to this ul element i want to find the next element so for that one what i can do is console.log ul dot next element sibling i can use next element sibling something like this i think i didn't remember let's see so here if i try to see we are able to get see here i am able to get the div option okay next element sibling next element sibling means it will give you the next element so whatever the element you are having so you will be able to get this one so this is also one type of uh, methods or properties which are available in the document in, in order to access instead of accessing children of zero children of one like that so we can make use of this first element child next element child like this and we can make use of this one <clears throat> so these are all the some of the methods which you can traverse the document model so these are all these are all some of the methods which you can use it first element child so what we have learned now so we have learned about the first child okay so we have learned about the first child and we have learned about first element child and also we have learned about last element child last element child and i didn't remember next next element sibling okay and parent element so how uh, in, uh, in order to traverse through the dom tree so we will be using these elements so now accessing this one also it will take so much of efforts for us if you are having a complex html so these are all the different ways which, you, which will support in all the browsers so you can use anything so whichever is feasible for you you can access this one dom accessing thing so in order to have more even more uh, easy access also so we are we are dom in document object model there are also some convenient methods also available so up to here we have learned about the properties only now we, there are some conveni convenient methods also available in the dom so which you can traverse through the document thing so now we'll try to learn those things also so which are the easy methods how we can access it those things also let's try to see it